Good day. Welcome to the Procon YouTube channel. My name is Johan Duplessis. In this video, I will show you how to plot the results of a beam as well as draw an envelope for different load combinations. When you need to design a beam subjected to various load cases and combinations, it is always a good idea to consider an envelope of results. That way you make sure that you account for all possible actions on the element. Depending on the loading, a region in the beam might be in tension sometimes and in compression at other times. You need to account for this. I've prepared an example concrete beam with three spans. There are three load cases. Live, wind and dead. The four load combinations represent factored sums of the load cases, usually stipulated in design codes. Now, let's analyze the structure. Looking at the results and the X moment, which is usually most significant, I can cycle through the load groups, but it is important to get a complete picture of the maximum and minimum moment at every point along the beam, and it's hard to do it in this way. And that's why we will ask Sumo to display an envelope of all of the load cases. I will undock the charts panel from the bottom left corner of the screen. When you have two screens, you can move this panel to the other screen and that way you free up space to see the model. The first step is to enable the show input model option. It's always best to work with the volumetric model instead of the analytical model because it's easier to select the beam that you want to plot. I'm going to plot all load combinations and I want the X moment on the graph. The graph allows mouse tracking, so you can move your mouse across the graph and see the values update. Next, I will ask Sumo to draw an envelope. That means I can see the maximum and minimum at every point along the beam. Again, this feature works much better when you are using two screens. Just to show you, I can just click on any other beam element and immediately it will plot the X moment for that element on the graph that I've already set up. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. For more tips and tricks, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.